So we all have a million excuses for not fitting exercise into our daily life, but it may be easier to kick off a routine than you think. Joining us in the Harvey Norman Lounge, Richard Betty from Exercise New Zealand. Good morning. Good morning, Mel. Really nice to have you back in the studio. Uh, let's touch on some points first that may be holding us back. First up, I have to exercise vigorously for an hour a day. True or false? So that one's a big false. So the good news is it doesn't need to be vigorous for an hour a day. I think the three things you want to get into any exercise routine is an element of uh, cardiovascular training, uh, elevate your heart rate. Yeah, like Secondly, running, whatever, things yeah, like that. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Secondly is to get some strength training and something that's going to be a bit of resistance on those, on the bones, on the muscles, on the soft tissue. Mm -hmm. And then finally an element for your mind, and that can be yoga, it can be even breathing or meditation. Okay, how do you work out what the right ratio is? Well, part of that is working out what your goals are. Um, I would generally say that women have the tendency to not put enough strength into their into their mm -hmm. programs, whereas men will have a tendency not to put enough uh, emphasis on the mind component. But again, everyone's a little bit different, yeah. but getting good advice really helps. Good. Okay, so while I've got you here, and you are very good at the good advice, can you just tell me very quickly, if I'm training for a half marathon, what should I be doing? Ratio-wise? Well, certainly, if you're specifically about the half, the best training for half marathon is going to be running. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I knew you were going to say you, that. You didn't want to hear that one. <laughs> um, and particularly, again, it's about you, you enjoy the experience. And so you can break that running up into lots of different ways. And so rather than just saying, go out and do long kilometres, yeah. unless you're trying to win the gold medal, I would be saying, make it as enjoyable as you can. Okay. And so do you enjoy running outside? Do you enjoy running on a treadmill? Everyone's a bit different okay. there. Okay. Yeah. Work those ones out. Yeah, for sure. Thank you very much for that. It was just a bit of free advice I squeezed in there. Uh, exercise isn't as important as the work I have to get done. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I think that says it's either this or that. And I think with exercise is that particularly if you've got a role where you have the ability to actually increase your own performance through time, mm. actually going away and exercising will make you far more productive at the rest of that day. So it, it's not a simple matter of that half an hour away from my desk makes me less productive. Actually, you'll be a far more productive employee if you're exercising on some sort of regular basis. And you have to actually put that into your diary somewhere. Absolutely, exactly. And, and uh, I, I saw actually an interesting clip recently that says, you know, for 23 and a half hours of the day, you can sleep and sit down. For half an hour a day, do something that might involve you moving. When you do that, it makes it sound easy. Yeah. Um, so how do we get started? Well, I th think that getting started, a lot of people talk about you know, where do I go and what do I do and who do I do it with? And they're really important. I think the most important question is why. So mm -hmm. why are you doing this? What is important for you and why do you want to do it? And everyone's why is different, but be really clear on what that why is and then go to the other questions about, okay, so where am I going to go? There are lots of options around, but if you're clear on your why, it really helps you guide that process. Yeah, I think exercise makes you feel good too, doesn't it? I mean, oh, it makes you feel absolutely. good. Absolutely. And, and I think with goals, it's really important to add an element of actually how do I feel about myself? Right. How do I feel about my body and in my body? And that will actually change really quickly, far more quickly than body body transformation will. That will take time and it will come, but I think you will feel better really quickly. I always say to someone, do one new activity, particularly if you're not active, mm -hmm. you will feel a lot better after that first activity, at the end of it. You do. I know someone said to me, I don't like running, but I like the way I feel at the end of the run. Yeah, absolutely. It's very true. And out of any activity, it could be, you know, it could be yoga, it could be dancing, mm. it could be running, it could be going to the gym with your friend. Um, all those different activities, people feel different, even from that one one time. So you've got to have those realistic goals, don't you? Absolutely. I think realistic goals. Often people will look, but particularly if they're on a weight loss journey, they'll mm. talk about kilos of weight loss, and that's fine to have that. But I'd put that to the side in the short term and talk about the mini goals you might want to achieve. And a really good one for people starting in is attendance. So to say, I'm going to go four times in a month. And you're like, that's not a lot. You go, you're right, because that's not my objective, but that's my goal. Because if I achieve yeah. five, then I've succeeded. The problem with setting myself up, oh, I'm going to go three times a week, is if you go twice, you somehow fail. But actually, twice is awesome. So set yourself those mini goals. Attendance is a really good one in the short term. I like that. What about um, if we've got a friend who could do with some exercise? I mean, how do we help them? Well, I think there's two things there. If you are a person that's not exercising and you've got another friend who's not exercising, then going together can be really valuable. And certainly, if you've got similar goals, it's a great time to get into an activity together and you can motivate each other to go. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing I would say, though, if you're an exerciser and your friend's a non-exerciser, be really careful about saying you should do what I do because everyone's different. So yeah. if, if you're really into the high intensity stuff at six o'clock in the morning running yeah. on the beach, <laughs> that's great, but not all your friends will be. Yeah. Um, if you're into yoga, that's awesome too, but not all your friends will be. So be a bit careful if you are an exerciser and you're just telling everyone should do yeah. what I do because it works for you, but not for everyone yeah. else. So f finding the activity you enjoy is going to be way more powerful than doing the thing that your friend it's does. It's going to be really key to it, isn't it? What about hiring a personal trainer? What are your thoughts well, on I that? Well, I think you know, if you've got the funds to be able to do it, it's probably one of the best investments you can ever mm. make. And the one thing I would say about choosing a personal trainer 
trainer, first of all, make sure you choose them. So it is not simply a matter of picking any personal trainer. Yeah. Find someone that you can relate to and you think will help you on your journey. And the second piece of advice around that, make sure they're registered. Because there is actually a registration body in New Zealand. Not all personal trainers are equal and not all their training is equal. Yes, so. my trainer was telling me about that actually. Oh great, and yeah. So they, they can check it out, reps, which is a register of exercise professionals, and, and they operate an online search engine. So you can actually check if a trainer is registered. Um, don't believe just someone says, oh, I know what I'm talking about. Well, everyone would say that. Yeah. Okay, so I'm sold now on the idea of exercise. I mean, what is the first thing I do? Well, I think the first thing to do is to make the commitment that you will do something and set a reasonable time frame. So in the next 10 days, I will start the activity. And it doesn't, I don't even know what the activity is yet. So that is the commitment from day one. I will do something in the, mm. in the first 10 days, and I'm gonna find out who I'm gonna do it with, where I'm gonna go, all those kind of things. Yeah. But that's the thing, you can decide on that right now, to say, I am gonna do that, and in the next 10 days, I'm gonna start my exercise journey. I love having you in the studio, Richard. You are very inspirational, actually. You talk the good talk. Thank, Thank you, you so much for that. Uh, really good advice.